Welcome to a quick video tutorial on using Braille in Desmos. Throughout this video, I'll be using a keyboard to enter my expressions. Users typing with a Perkins-style Braille keyboard can type in Braille and read the output on a refreshable Braille display. Let's start by going to desmos.com and selecting either the four function calculator or the scientific calculator. Next, click the settings button here on the right. We offer three modes for Braille, off, Nemeth, and UEB. I'll select Nemeth, which you can also activate by pressing Ctrl N on a Mac or Alt N on Windows. The keyboard shortcut for UEB is Ctrl U on Mac and Alt U on Windows. And finally, the shortcut to turn off Braille mode is Ctrl Q on Mac and Alt Q on Windows. Okay, let's try typing a fraction, one half. First, I'll type the start fraction symbol, which is dots one, four, five, six. Since I'm using a QWERTY keyboard, I'll type question mark to get this symbol. I'll then type one, forward slash, two, and finally the pound sign for the closed fraction symbol, which is dots three, four, five, six. Once I've entered this expression, pressing tab will focus the computed result so that I can read it on a dynamic braille display. Note that Desmos displays the result in both ink print and braille forms on the right side of the expression list and that pressing return creates a new blank expression line below the first one. Let's try another example, the square root of two. To open a square root, I'll enter greater than on my keyboard, dots three, four, five. Next, I'll enter a two, followed by right curly bracket for the end root symbol, dots one, two, four, five, six. I can again focus the result by pressing tab and then move the cursor to a new blank expression line by pressing return. Now is a good time to point out a few additional details. First, Desmos renders user input here on the left side of the expression list, not only in real time, updating on every keystroke, but also in both ink print and braille forms, just like the output on the right. We've designed braille mode to help facilitate mathematical communication between sighted and blind users, whether teacher to teacher, teacher to student, or student to student. Case in point, if you switch between modes, will automatically translate all inputs and results. For example, you can enter an expression in Nemeth and with a single click translate everything to UEB or vice versa. This feature even works for going back and forth between Nemeth or UEB and InkPrint. To learn more about Braille mode in Desmos, as well as the rest of our accessibility features, including how to set up various screen readers, visit www.desmos.com accessibility. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about these features, let us know by sending an email to accessibility at desmos.com.